oh, this is kind of steep, but good workout. This is a really great path. It is. It's a nice wide bike path. Yeah. At least I think it's a bike path, but it's really nice. The names of the beaches we're going to today are Playa Magüe, Playa Magüe, and, and Playa Organo, I think. Organo, but I think it's Deja Le Organo. It's Playa Organo. <laughs> Bay of Oregano. <laughs> oh, oh, that's Bahia. Oh, You're Bahia, Bahia yeah. El Oregano. <laughs> We're going to the beach. We're going to the beach. <laughs> I'm afraid they're going to dive bomb us. We've seen these birds dive bomb people. And they seem to be following us. Reminds me of San Augustine. Yeah, all along there. It looks calmer over here. I think we should try that side. The trick to doing snorkeling here, we found, is coming early in the morning. And uh, if you come early in the morning, Nobody's here because they were up partying all night. And so you pretty much get the beach to yourself till about nine o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> it's barren. So we're gonna try to snorkel this area over here. Right along there. And see what we can find. Well, we saw a jelly as soon as we hopped in the water. <laughs> it's a little disconcerting. Yeah, but Mark was brave. He swam through it. And so I followed him, and then it was a payoff of yeah. a lot of fish. Tons of stingrays, too. Tons of stingrays. That was really fun. They were literally two feet from our face. Yeah. Because it <laughs> was, a bunch. yeah, a bunch of them. So cute. And, uh, but we didn't stay long because it's kind of... Um, the water is really rough, and rough. it's really murky. Yeah. You can't it see very far in front of you. Makes Mark sick if it's too rough. So we're going to head over to Organa. Organo. across the tree in front of us, but I don't know what it was. Probably a big iguana. I hear the ocean. We're getting close. We're the only ones here. Except for these boats who slept here. We haven't figured out if it's better to put on your fins while you're sitting on shore, or if it's better to put on your fins while you're out in the water. What do you think? Is it better to put them on on shore and awkwardly get into the water? Or, or is it better to try to put them on when you're in the water and then almost drowned? <laughs> That was fun. So back home we go. So we went to a total of 11 beaches in three weeks. 
what was your let's see of this of the beaches that we went to six of them we would snorkel that yeah. uh, what was your favorite of the six that we snorkeled at my fa personal favorite was organo playa organo it's a good one you go through a nature, um, a natural preserve before you get down there, walk through it, which was really cool. And then when you get down there, we had it all to ourselves. There was no restaurants, no people, it was super clean. Very secluded. The only thing that was down there, there were some boats anchored in the bay, and then they would have some boat tours, or snorkeling tours come in. They'd be there for 30 minutes to an hour, then they were gone. It was yeah. actually very lovely there. We got to see a lot of wildlife while we were there in the water and outside. In the water, we saw the spotted, spotted eagle rays, which were huge. huge. And I got to watch an octopus playing on a rock trying to disappear. <laughs> that was amazing. And I just loved all of the fish in that bay. Yep. My favorite actually was Playa La Entrega. It was about a two mile walk from where we were at our Airbnb. Beautiful bay, huge, large coral reef. Uh, a lot calmer there. We saw lots of turtles, stingrays, amazing fish, puffer fish, I mean, needle nose. I mean, we saw it all. And honestly, um, there was some other beautiful beaches we went to that we enjoyed just sitting at and uh, enjoyed the vibes. And my favorite one swimming, of course, was Santa Cruz. Yeah. So to wrap things up here in Huatuco, if you enjoy the beauty and the magic of water as much as Mark and I do, you're gonna love this area. Watulco, your magic. That's all we go. Getting ready to the entrance to the cave with magic waterfall. And now we're off to Puerto Escondido. Puerto Escondido, yay, so excited. Different vibe altogether, different waters. The beach is much different, a lot rougher. It is a surfing vibe, big surf town, and excited to see it. So we will see you next time. time.